All right, hello YouTube. This is your host, Mr. Shalom here. And today, uh, before we start off, uh, I would like to give a huge thanks to Rebeloid for posting these the data mines for the new content, kind of watching new cross. And we're gonna be looking at the new metals and all that. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So Supernova Plus Plus Industrial Terra. It's a single target uh, metal. It has 5,494 5, 5, attack and 21,739 21, defense it has is tier 10 it has a 22.8 multiplier it requires three ages and it deals 13 hits for one turn you put your power metal strength increases by 10,000 and it buffs your strength upright and power strength by 15 right uh it lowers your target's defense upright and power defense by 15 it increases your it adds to your special attack by 220 percent it doesn't affect counters and your supernova is pretty much the same where it uh increases your power metal strength by twelve thousand, increases your strength upright and power strength by 15 your targets defense upright and power defense by 15 and it adds 320 percent to your special attack it triggers before slot one second when defending pvp uh the community like it's actually a pretty decent metal right uh if you don't have many good attacking uh power metals but illustrator riku is actually slightly better just due to the fact of the mastery where when you use this on a uh on a uh on a speed um uh, enemy your riku is actually going to be dealing slightly more damage compared to terra uh but if you guys actually really like terra go for it um this is also going to be pretty good for the single target uh proud modes but spending doing 10 pulls for this for just proud mode is actually kind of a little bit steep right so uh yeah there's there's definitely better options and then there's also copy metals that you could use to bypass the whole single target stuff so yeah, let's get moving on to the next one, which is Supernova Plus Plus Illustrated Ventus. It's an AOE metal. He is he has he, he's speed obviously, but he also has fifty thousand seven hundred and some of the uh, attack 200, 21, 21 and seven hundred and six uh, defense. It's a tier ten. He has a twenty point six multiplier. Requires three gauges. He deals massive type damage. He deals thirteen hits for one turn. He increases your speed metal strength by. Uh, 10,000 your speed and your strength, your upright and speed strength by 15. Your targets, uh, lowers your targets defense, upright and speed defense by 15, and increases your adds to your special attack bonus by 220%. And doesn't he also doesn't affect counters? Uh, and pretty much, uh, he is pretty much what the speed version of Terra, right, in terms of buffs. Uh, the only difference being is that he is a mastery metal, so uh, he just for that like I honestly think the next uh, the next metal might be uh, just historically looking at it, uh, Shion might be the magic mastery or Roxas, whoever they decide to make the uh, the magic one because unless they do a one eighty and put Axel on it, but uh yeah that's that's it the shirt events is now it's sure aqua is pretty much elsa version 2 or the pp elsa version 2 uh she is an aoe she has 550,831 attack 21,069 six, 690 uh defense tier 10 20.2 multiplier Requires three gauges and for four hits she deals for one turn. Um, she increases your magic strength by ten thousand. Your upright normal general strength and magic strength by fifteen. Your target lowers your target's uh, defense upright and magic defense by fifteen. She adds two hundred twenty percent to your special attack whenever you cast. She reflects one hundred percent magic in PVP and uh, magic uh, damage. She doesn't affect counters, and she also pierces defense boost by thirty percent. And the next magic, the next magic, the next metal turns into magic, uh, 
and for one turn she pretty much does the uh, exact same thing as Terra and Ventus except the magic version so no defense piercing on this and this is where people kind of have gripes with it it's, uh, it's pretty much an also 2.0 PvP also 2.0 pretty much uh, and there's actually better options the if you're looking for just a straight out uh, PvP metal and magic right Zexion illustrate Zexion is actually better if you were able to land him or get him in any of these uh in any of the pools right in any of the pools because uh not only does he do most of this minus the magic i think reflect yeah minus the magic i think minus the magic reflect yeah uh uh but he also does piercing and his supernova actually does 100 piercing so that makes him better and then not to mention um the illustrated sora that is also in this current rotation of metals right it's also slightly better and just in general right for recent metals because uh it also deals like the supernova stuff so pretty much the way people describe her is the jack of all trace master of none metal where she is okay on everything but she like she never really excels anywhere uh and yeah this is the illustrated uh this is the T TVA trio, Illustrated TVA trio, right? Uh, now let's actually get into a interesting one where we're actually getting the Fantastic Seven, right? The this is the uh, what do we call it um, like their combined form metal, and it's an AOE. It's a attack. It's called Lucy Hearts, and it has forty nine thousand one hundred fifty attack and twenty one thousand five hundred ninety nine defense it's a tier 10 it has a 20.4 multiplier it requires four gauges and it deals five hits for one turn your reverse metal strength is increased by 10,000 and your reverse and psm strength is increased by 15 your opponent's reverse and psm defense is decreased by 15 and it adds 100 to your special attack bonus it's uh it's supernova for one turn it increases your reverse strength by 12,000 and it increases your reverse and psm strength by 15 and it increases your targets reverse and psm defense by 15 it adds 200 percent to your special attack and it triggers before slot one is active during pvp and the rest of the fantastic stuff is pretty much the same as the one i'm going to describe here right so it has sweethearts it's an aoe it has 43,466 attack 21,644 defense it's a tier 10 it has a 15.8 multiplier it requires one gauge right and it deals five hits, and for one turn, your reverse metal strength is increased by five thousand. Your your uh, reverse up strength and metal strength, its magic strength is increased by five. Your targets reverse and magic defense is increased by fifteen, and the special attack is increased by added by two hundred percent to your special attack. Uh, its reverse is pretty much the same for one turn. Your magic, your reverse metal strength is increased by five thousand. Your uh reverse and magic strength is actually increased by seven and you and it lowers your opponent's uh reverse and magic defense by seven and then adds 300 percent to your special attack it shows with slot two is activated when defending pvp and the other ones are pretty much the same it just replaced magic with power speed there's actually more again just replace the magic one with power and speed for the other individual ones Oh, there's actually two more. What the fuck power? So, yeah, and then the next model up, right, is actually Supernova Plus Plus Donald Goofy. It has a road strike. He has four forty three thousand six hundred and ninety nine uh, attack, twenty one thousand six hundred and sixty one defense. Uh, it's tier ten. It has an eighteen point eight multiplier, and it requires two gauges. And for ten hits, it increases your upright metal strength by five thousand, and increases your upright and PSM strength by ten. Lowers your targets uh, upright and PSM defense by ten. It has a it adds to your special attack by two hundred by two hundred percent. And for its supernova, for one turn, your upright metal strength increases by seven thousand. Your it increases your strength upright and PSM strength by ten. Your targets down it decreases your targets defense upright and psm defense by 10 and increases your adds your adds to your special attack bonus by 300 percent increases the count 
of your count the count is by three then the triggers before slot one is activated when defending in pvp and then next up it's actually going to be another and metal being introduced but except this time it's more of a utility metal where it's sore moogle b and it just adds strength and adds increases your strength and defense of the metal so you input this too by 100 um and for and the next and the details of the next uh vip are actually also leaked out now uh where you're actually in these bows as part of it uh you're getting 10 uh sora moogle bees you're getting a apparently powerful luck skill uh you're gonna be able to pull for in the vip banner you get 100 uh draw tickets and 100 of each gem for the japanese version for the global version you're going to be getting the sora and moogle you're also going to be getting the uh archer the arrow the are the freaking bows you're also going to be getting the the vip skill and you're also going to be getting a hundred draw tickets apart from all the other things uh that are unlocked whenever you do the jewels to have an <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the revival. The reason why I kind of actually stopped doing this and this weekend can munch in cross is because uh, well for 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 the for a while right, uh, and they kind of actually blocked people from being able to data mine stuff by just literally releasing it like a couple of days early, like a day early or so, a day later, like the information of it. So they kind of stopped that for a while, and, and then they've just recently started doing this again uh like i think like within like last like six months they start they start to be able to data mine again and then also like the this weekend can march in the process also coming back uh that is where i keep you guys up to date on all the uh japanese side things of can march in the cross uh and yeah the reason why i kind of stopped that series as well is because i had like issues waking up at the uh at the required reset which is like 8 p.m pst right pdt i think and which like in a couple like in a month or so actually might switch to 7 a.m so uh that was like oh i might as well just not do them because what's the point like by the time i do it people are really gonna know the information and all that stuff but i decided now to screw it even if i wake up late i'm gonna just still upload this just because uh it's something i enjoy doing and actually something that helped the community out a little bit but again huge thanks to roboloid for uh posting these things on his twitter you can actually find it find them at twitter.com slash roboloid uh, i'll put his twitter this link in like the description because he posts this uh a lot of the data mine stuff there oftentimes uh also in doing like these visuals for it and also any announcements that uh are posted from the kind uh, japanese version unicross right the japanese version he might also post a translation there as often so yeah uh, this has been your host mr shaman care and everybody else well thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one